want to fix my hair and just like adjust this lighting a bit because I'm just a bit flustered guys I literally almost just fell down the stairs um, which is just like it's just so embarrassing because I just feel like at 27 I shouldn't still be falling anywhere I feel like at my age I should be able to use my legs to get myself from point A to point B with no drama anyway hi welcome to my channel my name is Nogu Kanye Tsaguba and this is the pretty bookish channel where we talk all things books sometimes makeup sometimes music but generally all things books uh today i wanted to do a video that's going to be probably relatively short compared to my other ones because i just want to talk to you guys about one book one book that i think everybody needs that everybody should own um in the past month or two we've been having this conversation around decolonizing your bookshelves and diversifying your readings and really giving especially black female writers especially black female african writers the respect and the uh, and the hype that they deserve for their phenomenal work that usually goes unnoticed um and so in that vein i want to talk about one particular book that for me is such an incredibly invaluable resource for familiarizing yourself and and getting an introduction to black female writers of african descent and black female writers of the diaspora and that is um the new daughters of africa which is an edited anthology edited by the queen margaret busby um so this anthology has about 200 pieces of work by 200 different writers um poets uh storytellers essayists of african descent so black writers of african descent which means um african writers afro-caribbean writers black british african-american you get the gist so if you're of african descent you can be in this collection so it's about 200 women writers in this collection which is just phenomenal because i don't even think i could name 60 black female writers so there's just a whole lot of writers that i've never heard of who could be my new favorite writers so this kind of collection is so 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 useful because what you can do is first of all this is not a novel guys so you don't read this like in one sitting i've been reading it since last year you do it piece by piece and I swear to you, you discover writers whose work just jumps out at you. You'll read a short story and you'll be like, oh my God, who is this? This sounds like, this is such a vibe, this is so me. And then you Google them and then you buy their books and then you, that's how you um, expand your writing. That's how you familiarize. That's how you get um, a better knowledge of black female writers and how you can also be someone who champions these writers in all your spaces because they really do deserve it. A lot of them go unnoticed. Um, and a lot of them are not like the mainstream writers, um, like Adichie, like, you know, you know, your, um, Audrey Lords and who are all phenomenal, but there are so many other black female writers that exist. Okay, so this book is kind of structured in such a way that different sections uh, have different writers from different generations. So the 19, every writers born in the 1950s are in one section, 60s, one section, 70s, another section. It's relatively easy to get through. Um, there's different mediums as well different genres there's poetry this book essays um short stories there's um oral literature there's people who use uh drama there's uh novels there's letters there's diary entries there's memoir uh, extracts so this book has everything and i really think that when people ask me to recommend black african writers or black female writers for them i really feel like this getting this book is a great way for you to do the work yourself it's a great way for you to kind of dedicate yourself to spending time over the next year really familiarizing yourself with these writers you're not gonna love all of them i don't love all of them but it's but there's gonna be ones that you really just like oh you're obsessed with them and there's gonna be stories that stick out for you and there's gonna be poems that stick out for you so it's this resource honestly phenomenal one of the best things i've ever bought the best value for money especially if you are um someone who is genuinely dedicated to doing this kind of work and you genuinely want to learn and to and to know more and to find different writers that you've never heard of the new daughters of africa is phenomenal um so yeah this book new daughters of africa everybody get it um and while we're at it subscribe to my channel i think the button is like down below somewhere there i don't know where to point yet i'm still a baby booktuber so it's like somewhere there i don't know uh subscribe to my channel tell all your friends to subscribe to my channel um and hopefully i'll be doing a lot more videos in the future thank you